All right, team, we have something really serious to discuss. Makeup brushes! Hi ho everybody, I know it has been a sweet while since I've been here on YouTube but I am back and I'm ready to give you guys a brand new review. I'm going to review the brand new brush set from BH Cosmetics, the Crystal Quartz brush set. I also threw in this little container that I had to get my hands on because it's so gorgeous. How can you resist when you've got beautiful brushes? And just as I ordered these, a new brush set came out today online. That's always the way, whenever I feel like I'm on top of things of getting brand new, something else comes. Let's face it girls, we're never going to keep up in this makeup world, okay? That's not how it works. Here I am with my hot drink and my sweater just to celebrate, I think, the second day of fall. Dumping into the logistics of this order, okay? I'm going to tell you how, how much it costs and all that. Being BH Cosmetics, they always have sales, so never, ever, ever buy things full prices. This, however, was a brand new set, so they're not going to lower the price anytime soon. It costs $19.99, and then the case was about $5.99, but I believe I was able to get the kite the case for about four dollars something and on top of that I got free shipping so it wasn't a bad deal spending $25 on each of these things. Shipping took um, I'm gonna say roughly a week I'm trying to find a date here as to when I ordered it. it took over a week it was a little bit slow but it did eventually get here so I ain't complaining. Came from um, California I'm all the way in North Carolina so I kind of expected it to take its time. First of all I picked up this limited edition brush box I don't even know what to call this. This is so bad. A brush set container? I don't know. I have buttloads of these. Why do I not know the name of it? I picked up the marble one. This is really good quality. I don't know what I was expecting. It almost feels like material. It is really, really well put together. You can see stitching along the edges there, if you can see that. And then it's got this really beautiful kind of marble finish. There was also a, a crystal kind of finish, a black one, and I think a, like a pinky one, I think. But these are a limited edition and I, I'm quite tempted to pick up another couple because they are really, really beautiful. So on to the brushes. Now the only thing that the brushes do not have is the name of them written on the handles, which I don't mind because I know what I'm going to use my brushes for anyway. It doesn't bother me too much. Get the brush set in this sweet little box. Um, everything kind of comes in this neat little bag. This is like a duo chrome. It's really buzzy to look at because you cannot for the life of you figure out the colour of it. <laughs> What colour is it? Um, my eyes are kind of going a bit nutty here, so when you change it, it's pink, and then it's purple, then it's green, then it's blue, then it's silver, then it's gold. It's got every colour imaginable in here. I would call it like a crystal kind of duochrome unicorn, you know, the whole unicorn theme that's going around the unicorn themed bag. I, however, am not a fan of this. <sighs> okay, I picked it up again because I felt a little bit bad, but... <laughs> I am, uh, I'm gonna say I'm a little bit on the older side. <coughs> like 20, <laughs> I don't really appreciate this kind of thing. It kind of reminds me of like a giddy 12 year old makeup set and I find it a little bit on the tacky side. I wouldn't use this. I mean, it's cute, but I'm not gonna use it to store my brushes in. The brushes, however, make up for that. They are so, so beautiful. I'm really, really impressed by the make of these. My experience, Brushes are gonna stand the test if they can wash well. So I haven't washed these yet, they're brand new, out of the box, as you guys can see. They've still got their beautiful kind of white tips. They are ridiculously soft. And yeah, so far I'm super impressed. First of all, we have the number one brush, which doesn't tell you too much, but it is a deluxe powder brush. It's just a circle shaped, comes to a small taper. The thing that I noticed first of all about this is that there's a lot of flexibility in it. If you can see, it's got a lot of give. Bristles aren't, aren't that dense, say, compared to a powder brush that I have by EXO Beauty. I'm sorry, this is a bit um, manky now. These wash amazing, by the way. This is really, really big compared to it. I've been using this to death, I really enjoy it, but sometimes I find it that it's just a little bit too big for my face, so I am excited to use something a little bit smaller. The base, you can just tell there's a lot. There's a lot of thickness there, whereas here you can kind of squeeze these together and it doesn't feel as much. So I'm kind of excited to get to use this. The second brush is a bronzing brush. This is what it looks like. 
end has got kind of an oval shape to it. This again is super super soft. It's got a really it's got a really nice amount of flexibility to it, especially if you're using something like bronzer and blush. You don't want to pack product on. The third brush is a buffing brush. Again, this is just your standard kind of um, buffing brush to use with liquid foundation. The first thing that I notice again with this is that it is pinched a little bit, so it has got maybe I would say almost too much flexibility to it but this one that I have been using is really really tightly packed these are so so stiff this is the old 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 EXO Beauty sometimes I find because they are so densely packed sometimes maybe the product kind of gets swirled around rather than just distributed um, evenly again it's just a round shape it's got that beautiful beautiful kind of ferrule at the edge there you can kind of just see the detail as it kind of pinches in the bristles a flat contour brush I'm really excited to use this I have one from another brand called Artiste I think I paid a, uh, nearly, I want to say almost $20 for it it was an expensive brush and I wasn't overly impressed with it what I didn't like about it was that the bristles were about half the size and they were so densely packed that it felt like you were kind of scrubbing this has got a really nice give to it again it's got a lot of flexibility to it. It just, it works really nicely if you guys can see there. It's got the really nice kind of rose gold detailing and it's just a really, really nice shape. Number five is your large blending brush. We all have so many blending brushes and I can never have enough of them. I do enjoy them. Again, we've got another fluffy blender brush. This is from the new EXO Beauty line. Uh, where's that logo gone? Oh, hello, I've used it so much that I've rubbed it all off. Again, these brushes are great. But this is kind of, this is a different shape. So this has got more of a taper to it, if you can see there. Quite long bristles. A lot of give, so it's not stiff by any means. It's got a bit of fluff to it, which is nice. I like the idea of this, especially for my eyes, because they're hooded, so it's a little bit harder to work with eyeshadows and just find the right brush for those eyeshadows. Number six is our tapered blending brush. I'm pretty sure this is it. This one is really, really small. I was quite surprised at how tiny this is. I don't own anything like it. It's very, very petite and tiny. Again, it's got the long bristles there, but it is so flat. You can see it's got it's got so much give there. It's just it would just be your basic blending brush, but not everybody could use this. Bristles don't have a lot of uh, density to them, so there's a lot of give. So I feel like this would be really nice for highlight, even on the nose or the cupid's bow, or even up on the cheekbones. This one is a little bit different. It's got a round top, as you can see, and it's got a small, small taper to it, but nothing too extreme. I like this because it's got a little bit more density to it, but a good enough, good, good amount of flexibility as well. I've kind of been looking for something like this to use in my eyes, especially because they are hooded. I've just been looking for something to really fit in there, and right now that's fitting really nicely and it's super soft, so, oh man, I do need it, no. Number eight is our <laughs> buffing blender brush. This would probably be the closest thing to what I have with uh, XO Beauty. Yeah, I would say. It's got a lot of got a got a good amount of density to it, but a good amount of flexibility as well. It's just your basic kind of um, fluffy blender brush. I'm loving the sizes of these because it gives me more versatility with my eye shape. Not every brush is gonna is gonna work for some people. Eye eye shapes and mine are just particularly hooded, so it is a little bit harder to get in there. Number nine is the eye shader brush. This is a little bit different. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? So this is an eyeshadow brush from EXO Beauty. This is super dense. I don't even like using this for my eyeshadows. I find it way too dense. This one is nice because it's got a bit of fluff on top, as you can see. It's got the pinched ferrule right there, and it's got a nice amount, amount of flexibility to it. So if I go like that, I just feel like this would work really nicely. Depending on how it picks up product, I feel like it could work really nicely for eyeshadow. Okay, so number 10 is a pencil brush. This one is synthetic. So it's extremely, extremely soft. So that should be fun to use. Uh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So flat concealer brush. I had the idea of using it to clean up things like your lips or your eyebrows with concealer. Typically, a concealer brush looks something like this. Kind of flat. This is probably 
a little bit more versatile than just a concealer brush. I'm not quite sure why they labelled that that because you could use it as you could use it for a number of things, especially around the eyes. Of course, you could use it to clean up your eyebrows with concealer or your lipstick with concealer. You could even use it under your eyes just to kind of smudge out the eyeshadow or on top of the lash line there to smudge out um, eyeliner or anything. It's got it the right amount of density and flexibility to it. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited to use this one. And the last one we've got is the angled brow brush. Now, okay, so I'm a diehard fan of the XO Beauty um, brow groomer brush. I'm really, I really, really, really enjoy it. It took me a while to get the hang of, but I love it. It's spoolie on one end, and this is really nice. It is so thin and perfect to use on your eyebrows and to get the perfect point. This, however, is quite thick. Yeah, so this is a lot thicker than what you'd see for a brow brush. I'm not sure if I would use this for a brow brush, or I probably would, and then use a pencil just to kind of get the point on the end there, or I would use this for eyeliner. First of all, they are super soft. I feel like all of them are really, really well made. I did buy some BH Cosmetics brushes previously, some of the duo fiber ones, and I love duo fiber brushes. They're some of my favorite to use. As you can see, they're really, really manky. I bought the nine piece, one of my favorite brush sets. I think I paid $9 for it and it is so good. However, the brushes are not great quality. This one is a little bit on the short side because this just popped out as I was cleaning them. So they didn't go through cleaning very well even though I use it on a daily basis. I just got some hot glue gun uh, glue in there, glued it up, put the ferrule back on and Bob's your uncle, you've got a new brush. Just be mindful that when you're paying $10, $20 for a brush set, don't expect the best quality. I'm giving these guys a chance because the make of them looks fantastic. They look really, really well made, but the true test is washing them to see how they wear. Uh, because if you get hot water in the wrong places, it can melt the glue, the bristles can come out, the ferrules can break off, all sorts of stuff. But I'm excited to see how these brush, how these go, how I work with them on my eyes, the whole shebang. I felt like that was just a real mouthful. Oh my gosh, I need a coffee break. That was exhausting. <sighs> Joe, get a grip. This is only YouTube. You can handle this. Anywho, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope this review helped you guys out with deciding if you wanted them or not. For me personally, I know that I was going through about a hundred different reviews just trying to get my head around whether I wanted to spend the money on them. I mean, it's 20 bucks. They are nice quality. Again, we'll see how they go. All of that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.